So welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed. This week, the ultimate range from Domino's, which is a little bit different. And I don't think anyone else has done this up to this point. So they're doing the ultimate range, a lasagna and a carbonara pizza, and an ultimate cheesy garlic bread, which we'll see in a second on the review. As you'll see in a second, the carbonara pizza, which was really a novelty. I mean, there's, there's just bacon and mushrooms. Now, pancetta, I would say, would be the actual carbonara, um, along with pecorino, parmesan, uh, yolk, and a little bit of cream, just to add to the sauce. Now, that's not traditional. And then you've basically got the spaghetti, which cooks the sauce, or more to the point, the yolks. And that's it, you know, carbonara is pretty basic, but it's exceptionally, I think, exceptionally nice as a dish. So Domino's have got their marketing team to come up with something, and what they came up with is obviously the lasagna version and the carbonara version. Now, the lasagna version does look a little bit more involved, a few more toppings, but this, as a carbonara, is about as minimal as you could probably get. So not saying carbonara, as I said a second ago, is involved, but... They could have used pecorino cheese, they could have used pancetta, and I think that would have given it just a little bit more um, sort of similarity to a carbonara, maybe. Um, we'll see in a second. But the fries, just to have fries, because I don't think I've had fries from Domino's before, were really good. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, a decent size as well, and uh, not greasy, which, which was good. I'd say the fries easily eight out of 10. You know, they, they were good fries. And as I say, I don't think I've had them before. Uh, additional to that as a side was the chicken strippers and they were they were good. I mean, Domino's chicken range is, is pretty good. The wings aren't particularly big, um, but the chicken strippers, I thought I'd just have them just as a second side. Uh, chicken breast and breaded coating on the outside. Pretty decent size, seven I think you get in the box. So mm, I'm not saying value for money, but they, they were pretty good. And obviously the garlic and herb dip, which is the, I know it's the ultimate range, but the ultimate sauce, I, I would say. So the pizza itself, uh, thin crust or more to point classic crust. Um, not much of a, I mean, they can't really add much more than what they put on it, but a little bit more topping, I would say. A few more pieces of bacon, maybe mushrooms, albeit not traditional. The cheese sauce was nice. Nothing wrong with the cheese sauce. However, as I say, they could have just used pecorino, I would have thought, or parmesan mix uh, with a little bit less mozzarella. And if you closed your eyes, you could kind of make out the carbonara, but that's about it. It was just a novelty pizza as far as I could see. Nice taste, not really that substantial, so you might be a little bit disappointed, but... Yeah, I mean, try it, by all means. I'm gonna try the lasagna pizza at some point. Um, again, as I say, they're a novelty pizza, so something a little bit different. I know all the brands are doing similarly, kind of novelty burgers, novelty this, that, and the other. They've got to sell food at the end of the day. I think traditionally, um, as a pizza, it's it's as good as, as any other. Some people slate Domino's, some people slate Pizza Hut. I think it's on personal preference, but I would say, as a pizza goes with, like I say, the novelty value to it, seven and seven and a half out of ten could probably go to eight but seven and a half out of ten i think is fair so it was a nice pizza try it by all means uh, let me know what you think in the comments and again thanks for subscriptions we're close to 100 i appreciate the views obviously any likes and again any comments that you've got please drop them below and hopefully next week we'll see you on the next one